Today we're going to dive into the EDEX model in Dentrix. You can actually access this module from several different other modules in Dentrix. The icon looks the same on your toolbar regardless of the module that you're in. So right now from our appointment book, if I hover over the icon that looks like a Rolodex card, you'll see the tooltips pops up that says EDEX. If I go to our patient chart, which is another module, that same icon is on my toolbar. Again, if I hover over it, it says EDEX. When I click on that module, you get an interactive digital Rolodex. And so we're gonna talk about the different features and components of it, how to add contacts, as well as how to search and filter what you see. So the first thing that I wanna point out is that you have this setup wheel right here. This is your EDEX setting. So I'm gonna click on that first. You do have the option in newer versions of Dentrix to um, have EDEX automatically locked down if it's been idle for a while, in case you walk away from your computer and you don't want certain contacts to be accessible to everybody. Um, but since most of them are password protected and you walk away from your computer station, you can feel free to go ahead and safely un unclick that. Over here to the left, uh, you have edit contact categories. I'm gonna show you that. So we're gonna do that setup right now. So these are all of the different contact categories that Dentrix comes with. Now, keep in mind, some of these contact categories are already in existence because this data is being added to Dentrix regularly. For example, every time you enter a patient into the system, they will go into the appropriate category depending on if they're active, archived, or inactive. In addition, every time you enter an employer, insurance carrier, lab, pharmacy, etc., all of those categories are there for you. There is this kind of ambiguous one called My Contacts. That's where you can start to add your own personal contacts, but if you want to divide them up even more, you can do And we're gonna call it Sales Reps. And you can change the color of what the actual contact um, information looks like, and you can select an image for that if you want to. Um, just so that you can see at a quick glance what that might be. So let's say these are our sales reps. And we're going to choose the color. Let's do this color for sales reps. Okay, so this is how their contact would appear in your edX. Going to click OK. And I now have an available category called sales reps. And then close. Now to add a new contact, you're gonna click on the icon that looks like a person with the green plus sign right next to your setup for your contact categories. Click on new contact. At the top, you have a drop down to choose which category it's added to. You're gonna see that only um, my contacts and sales reps is here because again, all of the other categories are automatically created because of the data you enter in other places in Dentrix. So you can't add an insurance company to the contact for insurance companies unless you add it as an actual insurance plan through the um, insurance maintenance or family file in Dentrix. So I'm going to click sales rep. Contact name, Joe Bob. Okay. And then, of course, you can enter email, address, 
phone, cell, fax, all of it. Um, and you can get to category setup from here. So if you realize as you're adding a contact that the category you want doesn't exist, you can actually go straight to your category setup by clicking on the icon in the upper right hand corner. Once you have your information in here, you can click save and there you go. There's your new contact in your edex. So you're probably wondering, well, why are we seeing all these other patients in the middle of it? What, what's the order to that? So now we're going to talk about filtering how you view your edex. So again, um, for those of you who've been around for a while, um, the old Rolodex system, you would have dividers in between your contacts, your individual cards. So when you click on the filter icon, it's the uh, question mark um, with the funnel. It allows you to hide or unhide the contacts that you want to see. So perhaps right now I only want to see pharmacies. And then when I close it, I'm only going to see a listing of my pharmacies. Now let's look at insurance carriers. And again, you can search through your active patient base, inactive patient base, archived. The thing that I really do like about the EDEX is that you can also get to different modules of Dentrix for this patient. So you'll see down here on the bottom left side of this screen, you're gonna be able to access the family file, the ledger, the appointment book, or the chart and document center for this patient. So now if I go back to, let's look at insurance carriers for a minute. One of the cool features about this is when you click on the insurance plan, uh, you will see some basic information about the plan, like the coverage table and any notes that you have, but right below that, you'll see all the patients attached to that plan. This is especially helpful if you're working on trying to clean up insurance plans and, and do some merging and you're not sure which one to merge to, like how many people are attached to a particular plan. You can see it right here. And then if you want, from there, you can click on that patient, double click on them. Now I'm viewing Mickey Mouse's contact information and then I can go straight to his family file. Give him a call. Hey Mickey, we just received notification. Your insurance plan has made a significant change. Your new benefit period runs from July 1st through June 30th or June 31st. So that is in a nutshell um, what you're looking at with the edX. There's a couple of other icons. You can show less information, you can refresh it. Um, and then of course, if you need help on it, you can click on that icon to get more information. Uh, a couple last things that I will show you on any contact. Um, let's say we're on this insurance plan. You can type any kind of note and insert your date line here. And then you can also do templates, of course, if you need to, and you have some options and how you want to arrange it. Kind of a fun tool. Hopefully you can get all of those paper contacts that you have laying around and business cards added to edX. By the way, this is um, system wide. So when you add a contact into your edX in Dentrix, it's accessible from any other workstation in your office. So have fun getting digital with all your contacts.